Hello YouTubers, my name is Daniel, you are watching Exo Photography. Um, so, uh, it's the middle of the summer, continuation of my service period during uh, the lack of darkness here in Sweden. So, I am going to make a, you probably noticed this one, um, it's the rig uh, that I made for collimating lasers uh, and uh, uh, well, collimating collimators, uh, basically. Uh, you can watch that video here. Today I'm going to evolve this one. Uh, I am going to make a rig out of this uh, so that I can uh, adjust tilt. It's very important that a chip in the cameras is perfectly uh, aligned so that you don't get smudgy stars in the corners. So I stumbled upon a article uh, written on Starlight Ex Express website and I'm going to make uh, one of those myself. So it's made out of a 2-inch uh, fitting uh, for the camera and you have to use a laser pen. You're shooting the laser at the cover window of the camera and you are then assessing the, um, the reflections from the surface, uh, both the surface of the uh, cover glass, uh, but also from the pixels. What you will need for this project is a piece of, uh, I've chosen aluminium, but it goes with uh, basically any piece of sheet metal. Uh, we're going to attach this in front of the laser so we can assess the reflections. Um, we need a laser pen, um, red or green, I don't know if it's necessary to go with green as Starlight Express says, but I've gone with red. You're going to need a a piece of uh, aluminium. Um, this one is the slotted one so we can uh, push these nuts inside and adjust the height accordingly and basically uh, mount everything. So let's go. Okay so I have now um, sawed about 12 centimeters uh, off of the aluminium bar and uh, I also used a a thread cutter to make a thread in the bottom here so we can drill uh, through the, the wooden plate here and attach this one. <laughs> On the bottom side of the wooden plates I'm going to use a bigger drill. Just like that. Um, so the head of the uh, nut doesn't uh, protrude. We now have the uh, attachment uh, profile here. So we are now going to attach the reflection plate like this and um, we'll do that with M6 screws, uh, quite short ones and these nuts which slides into the uh, aluminium profile. Okay, so the beauty with these nuts is that they are sliding down inside here also this one okay come on like that and uh, now we'll just tighten down these screws here there we go so now we will continue with um, the attachment for the laser, like here, and uh, we'll be using the same kind of nuts, these sliding nuts. So 
so it will sit like this. And this is also going to be able to slide up and down uh, adjusting the laser. Okay, so let's slide this one down uh, the aluminium profile as well. There we go. Now we can adjust this exactly as we want to. I don't know if I want the, the push button um, on this side or this side. Uh, I guess I have to try it out. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is very sturdy. Um, so yeah, um, this is it. Um, I am going to attach a piece of white paper on the uh, aluminium sheet here, so that the reflection will be a bit visible. build is done for now. Uh, I haven't got my camera yet, uh, still about a week on the back order, uh, so I am really waiting that out. Um, I got a question on cloudy nights, I think it was, uh, someone mentioning that it's really important to attach the camera uh, because you're aligning the camera housing according to the ship. Uh, so what I've done is this is a two inch barrel uh, with a T2 connection or a M42 threaded um, connection. This is going to the camera and is going to be put in here and is a really really snug fit. And it's no wobble at all. And I am rotating the camera like this. It's sitting really really good. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like uh, this channel uh, and we will be catching up with uh, how to align the ship in an upcoming video. Take care out there. Bye.